this community in general is basically a community for immigrants. And you can see in the street the fear. Stephanie Espinal knows immigrants in the Bushwick neighborhood are frightened. She works firsthand with them through Catholic Migration Services. At this parish center, a part of St. Joseph Patron Church, monthly meetings cover a variety of topics regarding immigrants' rights. Stephanie's mission is to ease frustration. Educate the community, inform the community, try to put the people like, relax, hey, you need to take it easy. But residents are still on edge. Sonia Tixe works with DACA teens through the parish's youth ministry, and she wants to help them find resources. They asking where we can go, how we can do this, did you hear this, it's true, nah. It's most the parents, the kids kind of like, they're not getting it, but the parents definitely the ones that come into us to ask him for help. Of the nearly 200 teens she worships with, Sonia says about a quarter are dreamers. It's a heartbreaker to see this situation because I know uh, many teenagers that they're good kids that just want to study, get a profession, and they're, you know, in this situation sometimes it's like kind of treating them like criminals. We are not delinquents, we just come to this country just to work, to get a better job to get a better life. Edgar Condor migrated to the U.S. from Ecuador nearly two decades ago. His son and daughter are U.S. citizens, but this father of two is concerned for other families fearing separation. What's going to happen right now? You know, like, I mean, it's, it's, it's not worth explaining what's happening right now. About it's crazy. DACA is a good opportunity for them. It's like a, a window to be open for them. So it's, it's, very, it's very sad to see this situation. Immigrants with DACA status set to expire before March 5th, 2018 can file a renewal application, but must do so before October 5th. Anyone with questions can visit www.catholicmigration.org. Reporting for Currents from Bushwick, I'm Tim Harfman.